this tutorial, we're going to show you how to prepare a basic map for play. Basically putting creatures on the map, controlling their visibility, and the fog of war. And then saving that map. We're going to assume that you've already created a blank map and creatures ahead of time. Go to the D20 Pro menu and choose Library. Then click on the Map Library icon. Open the map you'd like to use by clicking the arrow to the left of the map name. Then go to the Creature Library and search for creatures that you would like to use by typing their name into the search box. You can then drag and drop these creatures onto the map, and you can drag and drop as many as you like. For this encounter I'm going to use two hobgoblins and four goblins. Their border colors are gray. Uh, that means that they're basically neutral in their status. I'd like for them to stand out a little bit more, so I'm going to drag a box around them, and then right click on them, and go to Alter and Team. And this changes their border color to a different color. I can set them to Hostile, which makes them orange, makes them pop a little bit, and lets my players know that they mean business. Now I'd like to take my two hobgoblins and move them into the center of the alleyway so that they're visible to my players. And then I'd like to place these little goblins in hiding somewhere. So I'm going to place them out of sight in places that might allow them some cover. But the problem is they're still visible. Uh, and so in this case I might want to create some fog of war so that I can hide them and make areas on the map where my players can't see. So I go to Tools, and then I select the Fog of War icon, and I'm going to start by just selecting Hide All. You can do it a different way, but this allows me to just erase areas that I want my players to see. So I click on the Show button up there, and I start erasing. Notice that wherever the Fog of War is revealed, the creatures are also revealed, and they're then visible. So I'm just going to erase a little bit here, and make areas that my players can see, such as the rooftops and these boxes and maybe the trees. You'll notice that the goblins become visible where the fog ward disappears and that's actually becoming a problem because I don't want them to be seen. So I may come back, add a little bit more fog of war right there and erase from the, tr erase from the building but now I still have one goblin over there that's in plain sight, but I want him to be hiding behind a barrel. So I can alter his visibility manually. So I can go to Alter, Visibility, and choose Visible, Invisible, or Dynamic. Or I can just hit the V key and it'll toggle. So now I set it to Invisible by hitting it once. And it says that he is now invisible to all players, even though he's in plain sight. So my map is pretty much done. I've got my two hobgoblins there, and I'm ready to save it. So to save it, I go up and I close it, and it'll ask me if I want to overwrite it. And I do, because I want to save all the changes. Later, if I need to use it, I can go to my library, pull it up from the list, and voila. Everything is saved, just as I left it.